Hello, this is a demonstration of the features of the software I am creating that is called Beamer Kitty. The purpose of this is to create uh, presentations like uh, PowerPoint but using LaTeX Beamer uh, as a background. So in this case, we can have this in initial template, we can have um, new slides and we can navigate in them and generate the LaTeX uh, code. In this case, it's an empty presentation with the two slides I have created and one front matter. So in this front matter, I can just come here. So title of my presentation, I can put this thing. I can put say the name, the author name. And there are other features that are not yet implemented. This is in development, but right now we can uh, test it. How is it going? So it will add all these features in here. So. When we are in a frame, this is, for instance, uh, introduction. So you will put everything in, the, in, in this section. And here in the blocks, this is the most important part. You can add some text contents here. And this could, could be explored many features. So for instance, you will start here. You have some content here, but you don't have a title in your blog, you can say this is a blog title and you can see, okay, you have a blog title here and also you can say you have a blog, an example, an alert or an unformatted blog. You can have multiple uh, configurations, so let's say this, we can have uh, four uh, two columns and four blocks, but you can also delete some of them if you don't want. You want to add more, you can add it here and transport it from one side to the another. So this can be a um, right side block, other text, and we can change the colors of the other two blocks accordingly. So the, for instance, the last one is, going, is not going to have any formatting, so you will not see the block around there and text without format and then you can have you can see this the organization of all these things one of the most difficult parts when you're having multiple columns is to align them so you in Beamer Kit, you just have to move this marker and it will just automatically uh, perform this for you. It's going to be really easy. Um, other nice feature is inside the block, so this is a big block, and second section, let's say. So in this uh, other block, you can have and add all the other elements. So, so you can add uh, one sub block, other sub block, and they are text sub blocks that could be aligned, and, and and also you can add images. So let's say you can check one here. This, you pick one image, and it will be just be added to the system. So by default, the images are going to take the size of the block. So, for instance, you have this. Uh, the, the, the width is going to be around the size of the block. Um, it could be also modified when you're moving this sub block here. So, the, the, the picture will automatically resize according to the proportions of your block. So if you are giving more space for this, it's going to be bigger and this is going to be smaller. So it's a very nice way to have easy or fast um, alignment or organization of the pictures and you just uh, need to move the marker of that. Um, and also, uh, if you want to move one block in this, so you just have to click in this sub-block, so it's, we just exchange the position with the previous one and just like that it's going to be just 
be, have this kind of organization. Um, the figures can have a comment, so this is uh, Northern Lights, and this could be a koala. You can add the, the, the text before or after. Mm, I don't remember if I put all these features already working. Yes, it's working. So this, in this case, the, the picture of the koala was too big. If you don't want to change this co the, these proportions, you can click on the picture, re uh, reduce a little bit the size, generate the LaTeX, and you can have the, the things that you already have designed. Uh, another thing, another big nice feature is when you're having these uh, slides, okay, you are working with this, you want to do something else, so you can duplicate it. So let's put a third. And let me exchange this picture with something else. Let's say dessert. And let's say this um, flower. Um, okay, let's keep, let's change this one. Dessert. So you will see your, 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 your organization like that. Um, one nice thing is, okay, this is a third section, introduction, second section, third section. You can put a section thing, so it will give you the option to put a section. It, it will be, you will see the mark here is a section. This could be a subsection and another subsection. So when you're generating the LaTeX, um, I think it's going to be required two times because of the index. So when you have this, According to the, you have the introduction, second section, and the third section is going to be um, automatically generated from the index uh, way of the system. And if you want to change your theme, you just have to come here and click on that. Um, generate light tech, and it will just change automatically to your type of theme. Um, yeah, I would like to have a preview of the theme, but okay, this is going to be a work in progress. Um, you can also zoom in, zoom out in your, uh, in your slides, so you can control it. And you can also uh, exchange the positions of them. So by just dragging, so you can have the third section in other position. Let's go back to Warsaw. Um, yeah, so basically this is what is the software can do. There are many other combinations you can have, for instance, let me add a new slide. So you can have this block, but you can have uh, this other configuration, and in this configuration you can add the sub-blocks. So you can have a sub-block here, you can have a sub-block here too. The same thing, you can add the pictures, and add the other text, description, text, description, text. Um, yep, yeah, so basically that, that is a very nice way to organize your slides. They're according to whatever you want to write, you can write in there. They organize, you want to exchange these two up, as if there's a big block, so you can just click on that, it will be exchanged. If you want to delete this, so here it has a trash, so to delete the big one, to delete the internal is with the X, to move one to, an to another, you just have to click on this, so just change the description and this other part of two blocks. And also, if you have this sub block, um, you want to have this align it to the to the right, so you can click on here and you can change the alignation. And when you generate it, it's going to be aligned to the right. Um, that so that's a very way nice way to to organize this these slides. Um, also, if you want to um, add some code, Python code, um, LaTeX code, so. Adding latex, and you can say, okay, this is a section. Um, 
All right, so I am not the expert in LaTeX, but I like to use leaks. So you just can create some your equations. So you can say, for instance, um, A equals, you can put these things. Whatever. And you can see, for instance, the, the code preview. You can just copy. And according to, to whatever you are, you are doing here, so let's say this, you're doing this kind of code, or you're creating a list. And also, these have other ways of to work. And when you generate the lattice, you will just uh, add the code as, as you have created. And also the questions, for instance, this equation, uh, Um, when you have them presented, it has different codes. So you, when you copy this, let me put this here, it's going to be just slightly different. So how they will present it to one system to another. Um, the same will work for, for tables. I don't, I have not written code for tables, but you can copy the, co the code generated here in, in leaks. From beginning tabular, into tabular, and that's the way it could, it's going to work. I am not sure it's going to work uh, with the aligner. Let me see. Oh yeah, it worked with alignment. Uh, oh, I don't know if it will work also for all of them. Just my curiosity. No, it will just have in an alignment with when this could work. But okay, basically this is um, Beamer QT. It's a work in progress, but right now it's pretty usable and it's available. So anything, okay, you can come and use it. Um, okay, um, if you need to do some preamble, the preambles are working, so you can add code here that will be implemented. So it's going to be pretty due. Um, okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.